Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Glow here at Glow Vision, guys. 555. Five, five. Hi, hi to all my subscribers. Hi to all my new subscribers. Hi and thank you and welcome. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'm so glad to have you guys are here, okay? So guys, I hope everyone is doing great. Ending of the week. As it comes to the weekend. Okay, guys. So, y'all already know why I'm here. To do a tap-in. To see what's going on with your person in the collective. This could be anyone you're thinking about. Okay? Not someone laying next to you. If this person is laying next to you, this is not your reading. Okay? It's just going to be a tap-in. To see what's going on. When it comes to love. Okay, guys. All right. I'm put a little sage here for the negative energy. All right. So let's just jump right in. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got down here. We're going to use the psychic tarot deck. To pull a few. Let's see what's going on. Pull about three. Okay, guys. All right. Let's get started. <clears throat> this is only a general reading. This is not personal, okay? This is for a collective. It's for all zodiac signs, okay? If it does not resonate with you, then that's fine. That means it's not your reading, okay? If it does, leave me a comment, guys. Let me know. Y'all already know what to do. Okay, guys. Let's get started. My Globies. Call y'all my Globies. All right, Spirit. What's the energy in the collective? Crown Shocker, the first card. Oh, wow. Flew out. Mental conflict and authority. What we have here. So we have Crown Shocker, card number seven, mental conflict. Look like somebody here is having a mental conflict. Like in their head, they thinking, they not so sure with this mental conflict about the things that they want to do. But then again, this here is authority person, okay? So let's see, guys. The Crown Shocker. Remember, this is my new deck, so I'm going by the book. All right, so let's get started, guys, okay? Crown Shocker, card number seven, first card out. This is the Crown Shocker card, okay? The color is violet. None or uh, omen can be used. The element is thought, okay? The words I know. All right. So let's see. The crown shocker is located at the top of the head and has been called the thousand petal lattos or the receiver of light. This shocker is the center of your link with the universe, the infinite, and your higher consciousness. It is connection between wisdom and spiritual insight. The crown center is the area where the light and the energy receive and then this disperse throughout your era for total well-being. To balance the chakra, I find that meditation, breathe, work, yoga, spiritual healing. Okay. So you have to spiritual healing, do the yoga for this. So this chakra is <laughs> with this mental conflict here. Okay. So, this person is having a mental conflict right here. Let's see. Let's do mental conflict. So, this person is working with their crown shocker. Let's see. Mental conflict. <clears throat> this card deals with the inability to move forward. See, yeah, this person is going back and forth. Self-doubt emerges from indecisions or not being able to take action with a group 
a person or even the situation in the present life. It also may not be as easy a decision. See, they have an immense conflict when it comes to this decision. But just remember when you end mental conflict, just for anybody, when you end mental conflict, just remember that that you have the strength and the necessary wisdom and courage and power to make all necessary decisions. Okay, so yeah, this person is having a hard time making a decision about something. And we're going to see what it, what this decision is, guys. Okay, this is the collective reading. What's going on, the energy I'm picking up right now at this moment. Authority. This card represents the masculine, the masculine qualities of leadership, logic, strength, wisdom, and power. When this card emerged, it acts as a teaching tool, and in so doing, it is encouraging you to develop and reunite these qualities to tap into your mat. Okay, so, <clears throat> guys, okay, so this person, whoever it is, they having a problem with making a decision. So this is a this is a, a, a masculine energy that's here. Let's pull some um, some energy, guys. Let's see. Yeah, this person is having a mental, mental conflict. They, they they having a problem with making a decision when it comes here. Okay, let's see. Tell me more about the crown chakra for this person. Wow, flips. Two of swords. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, this person is stuck with a decision. I just heard stuck in their head and their mind. Tell me more about the Two of Swords. Tell me more. The Three of Wands. They waiting on their ships to come in. Before they make this decision. That's why they stuck in make, with making this decision. Let's see. Tell me more about this crown of chakra with this three of wands. Tell me more. Hold on. Look at that. It flipped in my hand. So I'm going to take I got to take it because how spirit going to do is throw it back out. All right. So <clears throat> the first card was the queen of cups. So this person is trying to make a decision because the three of wands, I don't feel like it's third party energy, but this person having a hard time making a decision about this queen, but about this queen of cups that they know that's holding the empress. Look. They're trying to make a decision about the, with, for this empress. So let's see. Let's see, guys. Yeah. They know this empress is the queen of cups. So this person know you are their empress. They already know that, no doubt, in their mind. They know you are the queen. Wow. The, the queen of cups. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And... They know they need to make a decision like now. Because, okay, let's see. Yeah, look at that. They know they need to take that leap forward. Look at that. The fool. They know it. They know it. Towards this empress here. But they stuck in their mind. They having like a mental co conflict. With they self. They very so in decision. They don't know what to do. Tell me more. Wow. Let me chop them up a little bit, guys. But this person is ready to take the, that step forward. But the thing is, when? And they know 
that you are the empress. But they struggling with this decision. Tell me more about this mental conflict. Yep, three of cups. That could be third party in energy. Or that could be a celebration for when they come out of this mental conflict or whatever is this that they're going through. It could be either or. Guys, let's see. Let's keep going. Tell me more about this mental conflict. Temperance. See, they know what decision they need to make. Yeah, this take <laughs> say they taking a precious time. That's what I just heard. Wow. Yeah, the King of Swords. Look at that. Yeah, ready to come. Cause they know, okay. They having this mental conflict about coming in with this truth about third party situation. Remember, guys, third party can be anything. It don't have to only be a karmic. But remember in the last reading, it was karmics there. They still was getting at your person. And that's he or she, divine feminine, divine masculine. I only read for a collective. It's not a gender, a certain gender. So, yeah, this person want to come in and speak their truth. And when they do, first, after they finish in their mind, thinking that because they don't know how to do it, that's the first big thing. They don't know how. They don't know how. They don't know what to say. They don't know how to come in and do it. To their empress. They go to the empress right here. There you go, guys. But they trying to take. They about to take this risk. Let's keep moving, guys. Let's see. Tell me more about this king of swords. Look, there you go. Wow. Look at that. Okay. There you guys go. There you guys there you guys go. Look at your mate. Okay? The Empress. And then the Emperor. There you go, guys. Alright, so we have the divine feminine here and the divine masculine. Alright, guys. Both is here, and it came out for the King of Swords. So I'm gonna put it over here with this King of Swords with the authority. Okay, so what what did I read at the book? Psychotera. Well, this is subscribes a masculine energy that go to masculine energy here. Okay, wow. Okay, so so wait a minute. This person having a mental conflict because. They know that you are their divine feminine. And that they are your emperor. But they have been interfering in third. It's like a twin flame. Third party situation. Oh, wow. Third party situations. And they don't know how to come in here and explain that. Yep, look. Knight of Wands. Little player. They've been playing around, player. Yep. Mm-hmm. But this energy changed. But that this is what they in uh this masculine here. The Emperor. Yeah, he this this masculine was interfering with third party interference but now look they holding on tight to the empress look even though they knew they was playing they was playing around tell me more about party all right guys the eight of cups yeah they walking away This masculine here is walking away, and they they walked away from this player. The player moves, moves, plays, or whatever they do these days. 
But this third party energy, mm -hmm. they done. They didn't walk away, but they still they, cause this is still like a um, no contact. They still in a mental conflict in their head, cause they they indecision. They don't know how to come in here and speak their truth. But they in the King of Swords energy, and the Emperor and the Empress is here, which is. The emperor came out under authority, which is this card specifies an emperor. And here's the empress. So yeah, this is this is a whole match here, a mate. But yeah, this person is is indecision now since they know they they know now they know who you are, divine film. Because this is this is for divine feminine. Because this is the masculine energy is here. Or divine feminine is, is whatever high your situation is. Let me get one more. What has this person walked away from? Turn their back on. What has this person turned their back on? What has this person turned their back on? With the eight of cups spirit. Not only they turn their back, they trying to have strength. Like, oh wow, what has this person turned their back on? Their spirit, what did this person walk away from? Oh, flew on the floor, guys. Hold on. Mm. Give me one second. Okay, it was the nine of ones. Okay, so what I'm getting, yeah, this person tired of looking stupid. <laughs> they tired of looking stupid without their empress. Are they masculine? Because the masculine is empress and masculine energy here is both. Okay, so that's what they're walking away from. Player ways. Well, they already made a decision, but they still going back and forth like they unsure if they should or shouldn't. That's what this person is doing like. Let's see. We got the six of cups on the bottom of the deck, so... Yeah, this is like a twin flame or soulmate connection, guys. Yeah, look at that. The higher front. So, this person wants commitment. But they in this, they can't decide on how to come in here and speak this truth to you. Because they know in the past that they was in the deceptive energy. Very deceptive energy. You have to know your situation to know. Okay. But yeah, but they walked away from it though. This masculine. Because they want long-term commitment with you. So that's what they going uh, back and forth. Uh, mental conflicting about. Oh, wow. They they trying to make this decision, but yeah, that's what. Wow. Okay. Okay, guys, it flew out. Look at the card. I don't want to move it too much. So I won't fall, guys. It flew out. Yep. See, they know you are the overpouring of love. Can y'all see it? They know you are the overpouring of love, guys. The Ace of Cups. Wow. So yep, that's 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 what's going on here. This person want long term commitment, but they know they messed up, and they trying to figure out how you gonna take it when they come in. Yup, look at that, the three of swords, because they know they caused you heart broke, heart break, heart broken. However you wanna put it, it's all the same. They know they caused you heartbreak. With these player ways. When they was farming around with these karmics or whatever they was doing. They could be they could have been lying, ghosting. 
ignore your text calls. So they they're thinking about all that right now. But they know you are their overpouring of love. They love you very much. But they just don't know how to come in and let you know, guys. Ooh, both of my uh, incense went out fast. Hold on, let me light my sage back up. Yeah, this person, mm -hmm. so they know now, guys, just so you know. So if you're not hearing from them, because this is no contact, because they're going through mental con conflict right now, they don't know how to come in and come and speak this truth to you, but they know that you are the one for them. They know, they, they know, they know. Oh, trust me. They know. Mm -hmm. That's why they holding on to you with this four of pentacles, guys. They holding on and they is not letting go. Holding on tight. Mm -hmm. Let me flip this one for the bottom of the deck. Okay, let me see. I'm going to pull something else for you guys. Let's see. Let's, let's get the care for deck. Yeah, so this, so when this person come in, guys, y'all should already know. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, pull the care predict out real right quick. Let's see. Get one for each. One for the crown chakra, one for the mental conflict, and one for the authority. Okay, because we know this is divine masculine, divine feminine is here, okay? This uh energy here knows what they did. They having mental conflict trying to come in with this truth because they know the play of ways. Because some divine film, divine film, some of these divine films, they walk away like boy bye, or baby bye. <laughs> what they say, baby bye. When we was growing up, all right, spirit. Let me get one for the crown sharker. All right, see a message. Look at that card number six. Wow, the crown sharker is number seven and. The message from the Kipper Dick is number seven, guys. Okay, so it's a message here. They trying. They. <laughs> it is not funny, but it's like this person. It's two sevens here. So some of you guys probably been saying seven. Seven, seven, seven. So this person trying to send you a message. They trying. They trying to make a decision on how to send this message. All right. Let me get one for the mental conflict. Why is this person in mental, in mental indecision? Why is this person in indecision, spirit? Why is this person in indecision when it comes to this empress? What? Okay, guys. This person want to marry you. They know you are their prize. Okay? That's, there you go. Card number three. And then mental conflict is two. And the marriage card out the Kipper Dick is three. Card number three. Wow. The Empress. The Ace of Cups. The Emperor. Oh, okay. All right, Spirit. Wow. Tell me more about this authority. This masculine. Why is he, oh, oh. Gave me two. Okay, this masculine here, why is he, uh, okay, so we know why. This masculine one, yep, because you are the main female. They know that you are the empress. The empress is here. The empress, they go to uh, emperor, the empress, marriage, and the privileged lady. Okay, so, yeah, it's the main female here, and it's the privileged lady that, with this three of cups. That came with the authority. Card number 12 and card number 2. So we have two twos here. Some of y'all been saying 222. Two, two. Some of y'all been saying 7-7. Seven, seven. You have to let me know. Alright. It will catch your attention. You will be drawn to it. But, okay. So, yeah. 
this person is having a mental conflict. Because they was out and about with this privileged lady here. But they want marriage with this main female because the empress is here. And they're trying to think of a way how to come in and send this message, guys, to you. They don't know how. But my thing is, they have to gain the strength because the strength card is here too now. Remember that? Uh, they, have, they have to gain the strength to be able to do this because they walked away from this privileged lady here. The Eight of Cups is right here. Privileged lady. They walked away from her. Yeah, they walked away. They want their main female. They want their empress. And they want marriage. So they're trying to figure out a way how to come in here and let you know. Send a message. Seven. With the uh, crown shocker. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Look at the card. Spirit be showing out. A love call. Look. They trying. That's the message. Someone expresses love. A message of love. Message. Thinking of you and letting you know. Wow. Okay, guys. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, they done with this privileged lady. They trying to figure out how they going <laughs> to send this message and make this love call. So somebody, y'all better be, somebody, somebody finna get a love call. Y'all guys, let me know when y'all do, honey. The Phoenix, new face. Yeah, they rekindling, transforming, grow. They changed their mind. Look, they don't want to be fooling around with this uh, privileged lady no more because they know it wasn't nothing built on lust. It was no love there. Divine Femme makes the Divine Masculine complete. The mirror. And then y'all mirroring each other. So this is a twin flame connection here mirroring each other self-image relationship reflects our wounds intercession yeah y'all mirroring each other so whatever you feeling your person is feeling too and look i just said twin flames bottom of the deck twin flame all right guys so here you go this is your reading yeah this person is having a mental conflict because of the deception that they had with this privileged lady, whoever she is, I don't know. Um, but they want to come in here. They're trying to make a decision on how they're going to do this love call to you, which is a message that they're trying to send. And they're trying to build up the strength to do it. But they just don't know how. And they're ready to take this leap of faith with the food card here. All right, guys. So. Let's see, bottom of the decks. We have card number six. Moving on. Yeah, see, this person is moving on. They done. They moving on from this uh, privileged lady here. Because it was nothing but lust. It wasn't love. Then the Knight of Cups energy, yeah, they want to come in. But they remember, they don't know how to do it. They don't know. That's why I say y'all got to send them, even though y'all not together, not talking, send your person love and light to help guide them to the lights. Okay. You have, you have, gotta, you have to help them divine fam. Coffin. Put an end in. It's an ending. Yeah. They put an end into with this privileged lady in these player ways. They've done. Card number 19. Bottom of the decks. And we have twin flame. Exactly what I said. This is a twin flame connection. The yin to the yang. Balance. Union. Complimenting each other. So, yeah, because mirrors here. Mirroring each other. Wow, spirit be showing out. So, this is y'all message, guys. This person is trying. They finna come in with this love call. But they have a mental conflict right now. They trying. But y'all mirroring each other. So, whatever you feeling, your person is feeling too, guys. Right. All right, guys. I love you all and thank you very much for all the likes and all the subscribes. I appreciate it, guys. Till next time, guys. Peace, love, and lights. Okay.